This is an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and this is a Zhiyun Smooth 5 gimbal. But forget about the gimbal, we're talking about the phone today. And precisely, we're talking about the macro abilities of the iPhone. This is a feature I don't use a lot, although I did a short film several years ago called Macrocosm, shot the entire thing with a macro lens, an external lens, but using the built-in feature on the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max is something that Apple has really promoted. And so today I wanna to talk about that and highlight what I call a hidden feature because honestly, I really didn't know you could do this using the iPhone and shooting macro. All right, and so I've got my 13 Pro Max here and I have a Moment case on here now, which I'm really happy to have. They've been behind because of the supply chain issues. But for what I'm showing right now, we're just using the built-in lenses on the iPhone, all right? And so I'm using the Smooth 5 today just as an example to show what you can do with this macro. So you've got three cameras in the native app and I am using the native app. I'm on the standard camera right now. The main thing they promoted with the new 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max is the wide camera, the ability for the wide camera to get really up close and being able to do macro like that. I am actually now basically touching the gimbal, maybe a quarter of an inch from it, and you've got a really nice clear shot. And previous phones, you couldn't do this because now the ultra wide lens will focus. And so you can see right here that I'm right next to the gimbal and the background is a little bit out of focus. You've got some shallow depth of field look here. And so that is a very cool macro look. Now, you move in like this with that lens and it just instantly goes into macro. Here is the hidden thing that I just realized that you can do. Now, some people probably already know this, I didn't. And part of the reason I didn't is I don't use the native app for shooting video or photos a lot. I tend to use third-party apps. And this feature, to my knowledge anyway, is only available in the native app. So now I'm on the standard camera. I'm gonna start here and you move in towards the gimbal. And did you see that switch right there? It automatically switches to macro. That is really cool. And so now I'm on the standard lens and I'm up as close as I was, maybe even closer than I was with the ultra wide. So I thought this feature was only on the ultra wide. I didn't realize you could do it on the standard lens too. So now this looks like a traditional macro shot you could do with a traditional camera using a macro lens, like a hundred millimeter type of lens because it doesn't have the big wide look like the ultra wide. And so that is really cool and something that I will probably start doing more in the future when I need these kind of shots, but it goes even further. So now on the pro, you've got the three times telly. So now I've got the three times telly on. It's a telephoto look. As you move in closer with the telly, the telly does the same thing. And so now it just switched over to macro. It does it automatically. You've got amazingly tight macro shots using all three cameras and lenses, and it automatically switches between the two. That's the key point. That's the secret that I did not know until recently you could do. And of course, I'm doing this all handheld right here. If you wanted to get this close, it might be better to be on a tripod. I mean, that is a nice looking shot right there. Super shallow, very tight, and surprisingly low noise because the telephoto has a slower aperture than the other two lenses. Now, of course, everyone doesn't have a 13 Pro Max. So let's look at the 12. This is a 12 Pro Max. And one thing about the 12, that if you have one of these, that it was really disconcerting when I got it, is the up close macro focusing was not good. And so right now I'm on the standard lens and I'm up close to the gimbal here and it is not focusing and it won't focus. And so that was always a strange thing because previous iPhones, when you got up close, they would always macro focus, no problem. Now with the ultra wide on the 12, it did okay, but you can see right here, I'm up right next to the gimbal and it is not focusing. You have to back off a little bit. I'm about two or three inches away, and now it's in focus. But if you get up really close to it to do a more traditional macro shot with a phone, it won't be in focus. And that was a bummer while I used this as my main phone. I use the 13 as my main phone now. However, one thing I just learned, 
you go into the telephoto lens, that's the 2.5 tele on the 12 Pro Max, now you've got a macro shot. Isn't that cool? Again, I didn't know this, and I used this phone for a year, and I just sort of never did macro shots. And by the way, all this works with photo and video the same way in the native app. And so you've got a really incredible macro shot now using the 12 or the 13. So this is another hidden trick if you have a 12 Pro Max that allows you to do macro. Now, what about the 11, the one before this? All right, this is the 11 Pro Max. Let me go into ultra wide. And so the ultra wide on this one is similar to the 12. You can get up close to it, but you can't get super close. I'm about an inch away and it's not in focus. You have to back up a couple inches and now the shot is in focus and looks good. The standard wide though, the standard wide does better on the 11 than on the 12. And so now I am in a macro mode. I'm about two inches from the gimbal. You get that close, it's out of focus. But if you back up there, oh, I guess I'm about three inches away. Now everything's in focus and looks really good. Again, this is the standard camera. Although when you move in like this, it doesn't automatically switch, but it does keep the constant focus. And that looks good. Now, what about the telly? The telly does the same thing. So I'm on the telly, which is a two times telly. I'm going in towards the gimbal and it stays really nice and sharp. I never really did this with the 11 either, but it's really nice to know you can do this on the older phones. But the 13 Pro and Pro Max really takes it to the next level. Now I mentioned I didn't really know about this feature and part of the reason is I don't use the native app for a lot of my video shooting. I tend to use third-party apps like Filmic Pro. And in Filmic Pro, this auto feature doesn't work. However, you can still shoot good macro using that app. This is the Moment Macro lens that I use with third-party apps primarily, and I used it on the short film, Macrocosm. And this will give you a pretty dramatic look because you get a lot of shallow depth of field in bokeh. Makes the shots look really big. And again, it works especially well using third-party apps. It doesn't work as well on the native camera because the native camera will sometimes switch cameras automatically. And when it does that, you would see the edge of the lens. Okay, I've got the macro lens on and this is what it looks like when you're far away from the subject. Everything's out of focus. You've got nice bokeh though, which is cool. You bring it in, everything comes into focus. There's the gimbal joystick. There's the mode button. And so you can really get some awesome macro shots using third-party apps and lenses like this. And here I'm literally only half an inch away from the gimbal. Again, you really can't do this in third-party apps only using the built-in lenses. To me, these are higher end looking shots as well. So it's great to have this option, but it's also great what the native camera app can do automatically. So again, the biggest difference between this newer model of the phone and the older phones is that it will automatically switch. So I'm on the standard lens, I'm pushing into the gimbal, right there. It automatically switched to a macro mode. And now I can get in really close. I'm maybe an inch away from the gimbal. So it's pretty incredible technology. This is one big advantage, I would say, to using phones or traditional cameras for this kind of shot. The only real negative to this is that it is automatically switching. And so you don't have control. And I found, especially using the tele lens, that it sometimes is hard to get it to switch between macro mode and just traditional tele mode. Through some Apple magic, what's actually happening here is the phone is using the ultra wide camera to autofocus while keeping the crop look of the tele or wide camera. So the camera automatically switches at up close distances, but it's not always smooth or instantaneous. So it would be nice if there was a way to manually switch it. Although there is a macro control setting now in the camera settings that you can turn on and then when the camera switches, it shows the macro icon. So then you at least know that you're shooting in that mode. I didn't use this in my demo, but it is there if you want to use it. The only other drawback is you want to make sure you shoot in plenty of light or the footage can get noisy. Overall though, this is a great feature. I'm glad I found it, even though it was probably hiding in plain sight. And I'll now likely shoot macro a lot more. So did you know about the hidden macro feature? And do you shoot macro videos or photos? Hit me up in the comments and let me know.
Thanks for watching, guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.